Last month, I toured Tesla's brand new Gigafactory in Texas, and while I was there, Tesla delivered their first ever next generation Model Y vehicles with the new 4680 battery cells and structural pack. Now, these vehicles are what Tesla fans like myself have been waiting for since the Battery Day event took place in 2020, and it made me that much more excited for me to possibly get one of these vehicles. However, after the recent rumors that came out about this new 4680 Model Y from Texas, I have changed my mind, and in this video, I'll explain why. First, here's a quick recap of why this 4680 Model Y is such a big deal. See, every few years, Tesla puts new improved battery cells in their vehicles, and their newest battery is called the 4680 Tablet Cell, which is expected to help Tesla massively scale battery production and produce bigger cells that cost less. Now, this new battery has simpler manufacturing and fewer parts with five times the amount of energy, 16% more range, six times the power, and faster supercharging. Now, these batteries also come with a brand new vehicle architecture that starts with single piece castings of high pressure die cast aluminum for the front and rear, which drastically reduces the number of parts for assembly. Now, these new structural batteries are Tesla's first ever dual use battery used as an energy device and as a structure to the car, which improves mass and range. Now, all this is done so Tesla can cut down on their battery costs while increasing vehicle range. Now, this all sounds pretty awesome, right? Well, it is, and that's why everyone is so excited for these vehicles and Tesla's brand new factory in Austin, Texas will serve as the main hub for producing these new 4680 battery vehicles, of which the Model Y will be the first model to get these features. Now, if you don't know by now, I ordered a long range dual motor Model Y seven months ago in October, 2021, and my current estimated delivery date is for this month, May, 2022. And up until now, my plan was to delay my delivery as long as possible in hopes of getting one of these new 4680 Model Ys from Texas, and many other Tesla buyers were doing the same thing. But news came out recently that stated Tesla is going to be putting these new 4680 batteries in a brand new variant of the Model Y, one that's never been produced before called the standard range all-wheel drive Model Y. Now, I will say that as of the making of this video, this is still an unconfirmed rumor and this new model is not yet available to order on Tesla's website, but this news came from highly reputable sources, so I have reason to believe that this is all true. Now, this new standard range all-wheel drive Model Y will have dual motors along with the new 4680 structural battery pack, 279 miles of range, 0 to 60 speed of around 5 seconds, and starts at $60,000. Now, in comparison, the long-range all-wheel drive Model Y is currently $63,000 with 330 miles of range and a 0-60 to 60 speed of 4.8 seconds, but it still has the previous generation batteries, which are the 2170 cells, and it's made at the Fremont factory in California. Now, this is my first and possibly biggest reason for me to not choose the new standard range 4680 Model Y, the price. Unfortunately for many Tesla buyers, the vehicle prices have increased substantially over the past year, but one of the benefits of buying a Tesla is that you can order anytime online, and once you pay that order fee, that essentially locks in the price, so even if your vehicle model gets a future price increase, your order price will not be affected as long as you go through with the purchase when the delivery time comes. Now, I locked in my long-range Model Y price at $54,000, which is $9,000 cheaper than it is today. And that means I can get a long range Model Y for $6,000 cheaper than a standard range Model Y. Of course, the standard range has the new 4680 structural battery pack, but I cannot personally justify spending that much money just for that. And even if I had not locked in a cheaper price, it would still be difficult to purchase a standard range over a long range when it's just a $3,000 difference between the two. Now, as the EV market continues to heat up, it's good to remind ourselves who was here first, and just like Tesla kickstarted the electrification trend that is on track to change the world, I found another company that could have the same global impact. Masterworks has been featured in publications like Forbes and Wall Street Journal because of their revolutionary idea that art investing is for everyone. So why invest in art? Well, because high value art has low correlation to traditional assets like stocks, meaning it's a great way to diversify your portfolio and it can be used as a hedge against inflation, which as we've all seen this past year is crucial. Masterworks lets you capture these benefits at a price that works for you by enabling their members to invest in a portion of individual or multiple paintings instead of needing millions for the full thing. 
And so far, Masterworks has produced some impressive results with each of their three offerings returning 30 plus percent net internal rate of return to investors. Now, legally, I have to mention that past performance is no guarantee of future results, but still, 30 plus percent is amazing, and that's thanks to their team of art experts. With more than 100 years of combined experience in the field, they examine over 3 million data points to find artists and works with strong momentum, which they buy and offer on their platform. We're talking about some of the greats like Picasso, Warhol, and Banksy. Now, I've talked about them before and you guys couldn't get enough, so Masterworks is thrilled to once again offer my subscribers a limited number of VIP passes. Just click my special link in the description below to visit masterworks.io and join over 400,000 other members today. Now, speaking of ROI, that brings me to the next big reason, range. If I were to choose the new standard range model Y, I'd be paying more money for 50 miles less range, which I would never ever do. In my opinion, range is priority number one when it comes to buying an electric vehicle, at least right now. And after owning a Tesla Model 3 for four years, I know for sure that I need at least 300 miles of range. Now, this is because that extra 50 miles of range comes in handy in many different scenarios that I've experienced firsthand, such as driving during the cold winter temperatures, driving in rain or snow, losing range to phantom drain when the vehicle is parked and not plugged in, using the heater or air conditioning, or traveling with a car full of people or heavy cargo, all of these things can negatively impact range, and I'd rather have the most range possible because I never know when I'll need it. And the long range Model Y is also quicker, although even if it's just slightly by a few milliseconds. Now, many people think that charging speed is more important than range when it comes to an EV, and although I somewhat agree, if and when an EV can consistently recharge 80% in under 10 minutes, that will be a much better feature than having 50 more miles of range, for example, but we're not quite there yet. And charging speed is only a small factor of total ownership, and it only applies when charging at superchargers. It doesn't apply to home charging, and home is where roughly 95% of most people's charging is done. Tesla superchargers are primarily for travelers on trips. Tesla is not installing superchargers in places just so the local residents can charge there. My case in point, there's a Tesla supercharger in London, Kentucky. Do you think they put it there so people living in the middle of nowhere in Kentucky can charge their Teslas? No, it's there because it's necessary in order for Teslas to travel through that area along the major highways, similar to almost all other Tesla supercharger locations. And this ties back to one of the features of the 4680 cells, quote unquote, faster supercharging according to Tesla. That's pretty vague and we don't know how much faster these new cells will charge, but I did see a post on a local Tesla owner's Facebook group that stated a Tesla technician with one of the new 4680 Model Ys said it recharges 60% in 20 minutes at a supercharger. So if we assume this is true, that means 167 miles can be added in 20 minutes of charging, which equals about eight miles per minute. And that's not much different than the current charging rate of the 2170 batteries at a V3 supercharger. And if you're using the supercharger primarily for long trips away from home as they were intended, then the slightly faster supercharging speed will only be utilized for a very small percentage of the overall lifetime charging of the vehicle since the hefty majority is done at home on a slower charger, which is the same speed for all Teslas. So this faster supercharging feature isn't quite enough to convince me just yet. And speaking of home charging, another reason I won't go for the standard range Model Y is because although we don't know for sure yet, it's likely that the new 4680 cells are not LFP chemistry, which means they won't be able to charge to 100% for daily driving. If you wanna learn more about the different chemistries that Tesla uses in their batteries, you can check out this video I did recently here. So if the 4680 cells are indeed not LFP, that means the daily driving range is only about 223 miles because in order to preserve long-term battery health, 90% is recommended for daily charge limit for non-LFP batteries, and you don't want to dip below 10% if you can avoid it, so that leaves only an 80% usable range of the 279 miles of daily driving. And factoring in the environmental impacts that I mentioned earlier, the actual expected range could easily dip below 200 miles during daily driving. Now, another one of my reasons is to avoid any first generation kinks or bugs that Tesla could still be working out. Of course, this is hypothetical, but it's something that Tesla is aware of because the first 4680 Model Ys went to Tesla employees and not to the public for this very reason. Tesla wants to work out any unforeseen problems first before they start ramping up production and delivering these vehicles to normal customers. 
but having this sort of staggered release of deliveries could cause the delivery date to slip out even further, possibly into 2023, depending on when Tesla actually starts getting these vehicles up and running at volume production. And I don't feel like waiting that long to get my Model Y since it's already been seven months of waiting so far. And many people were thinking that these new 4680 Model Ys were gonna be cheaper since that's what Tesla said at battery day. And although they could very well be cheaper sometime in the future, I think the cost savings really benefits Tesla the company more than the customer. Tesla as a business will have a much cheaper, efficient method of scaling battery production, which all of their vehicles will eventually rely on, but that doesn't necessarily mean the savings will or can be passed down to the customer, especially right now with Tesla's current demand levels, which are off the charts. And my last reason is pretty personal, but it's still a big reason for me. I'll still get to experience owning a 4680 Tesla when I get my Roadster, hopefully next year. If I wasn't getting that, I'd be tempted to get a 4680 Model Y because I do want to own one of these Teslas that has the 4680 batteries, at least one. Uh, so I guess I'll just have to wait for the Roadster because that car should definitely be getting the 4680 cells in order to achieve that ridiculous range of over 600 miles. So those are all my reasons for not buying the new standard range 4680 Model Y, but that doesn't mean it wouldn't be a good fit for you. It's going to be a game changer if Tesla does achieve the stats that they announce on battery day. Eventually, most, if not all Tesla vehicle models will get these new 4680 batteries, but the biggest problem is we don't know when. Is it later this year? Is it next year? Is it 2024? We'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you're planning to do in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to see what I end up doing with my Model Y that I have on order. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. My name is Andy. I'll talk to you in the next one.